Okay, this tutorial is uh, still with section 1.6, solving equations, linear equations that are, have rationals in them, except this is a bit different. We're just going to look at an equation that might have uh, brackets in it. So it just adds a little bit of complexity into the uh, problem by adding some brackets into it. And that's, this is our third example for this section. So my example that I'm going to follow through with, uh, I have 3 times x plus y in brackets, minus 4y equals 1. And I have for my second set of equations, 2y, or 2, sorry, multiplied by 3y minus x plus 9 is equal to 19. So what we want to do is, we want to simply, our first step is to simplify the equations by removing brackets. So I'm going to do that in both of the A and B. So I'm going to do A first. So we have to multiply through like this. Move our brackets. 3x plus 3y minus 4y is equal to 1. Simplify the y's in there. 3x minus y is equal to 1 is equation A. Then I'll do equation B over here. Again, we want to multiply through like this. So we get 2 times, oops, pardon me, 2 times 3y is 6y. Uh, minus 2x plus 9 equals 19. So we can subtract 9 from both sides. 6y minus 2x equals 10. That's b. Okay, so we have to choose a method that we would like to use to um, eliminate or get rid of a variable. You could use substitution here if you'd like. Uh, last tutorial I used an elimination method, so I'm going to switch to substitution. And I'm just going to solve for y here. So negative y equals, subtract 3y, 3x from both sides, 1 minus 3x. So what I'm doing is I'm solving for y. in A. Okay, so then divide everything by negative. So that would be y, positive y, is equal to, well, let's change this signs on both of these. Minus 1 plus 3x. Okay, now that we have that, I sub my values back in here. So that'll be my next step. Sub value for y. into b. So I'm going to do that. So I have, I'm going to do it right here. 6 times negative 1 plus 3x is my y. Subtracts 2x is equal to 10. Reduce negative 6 plus 18x minus 2x equal to 10. So add 6 to both sides. So we would have, well, let's first reduce the x's. This would end up being 16x. And this, if I add 6 and add 6, equals 16. So we can see that x, if I divide by 16, it's going to equal 1. Now I would go back and uh, solve for y given that we know x is equal to 1. So I'm going to use the top equation. 3 times, well, 1 plus y minus 4y equals 1. 3 plus 3y 
minus 4y equals 1. Negative y, and then subtract 3 from both sides. is equal to negative 2. So y is equal to 2. So my solution is 1 and 2. Do a quick check. See how that works. So 2 times 3 in y is 2 minus x, which is 1 in the brackets, plus 9 equals 19. 2 times 6 minus 1, plus 9 equals 19. And that would be 2 times 5, plus 9, equals 19. So this would be 10 plus 9 equals 19. So 19 equals 19 and we have it. So there is an example of using or solving equations that have a bracket. So simply put, all you need to do there is simplify out the brackets and then choose an elimination or a substitution method to solve your problem. Our next one will be an example of decimals.